Hello guys, Lego Master of Beers. Today I'm going to show you how to make the Book of Boba Fett Episode 5 Return of the Mandalorian Custom Lego Minifigures. And before we jump in, I just want to talk about this episode. This episode was insane. I freaking love this episode. It was incredible. Um, Din Djarin, the Mandalorian, is my favorite Star Wars character, so I was just so happy to see him on screen. He was so cool in the episode. And yeah, I'm just really excited to see um, him in the rest of the series. And I'm just, <clears throat> I just love this episode so much, and it was insane. Um, yeah, I rate this episode 100 out of 10. It's just incredible. But yeah, we'll jump right into it. So let's start off with, um, um, I don't quite know her name, but it is, uh, um, she's the lady that works on Tatooine that has been, um, in The Mandalorian since season one. Um, but yeah, and for her, I use Star-Lord's, um, legs and torso from the ben um, recent Benatar. And then I, <clears throat> the hands are the exact same, and the um, face is from Wanda from the Lego Marvel CMF series. And then I gave her this um, hair piece from Sprite from the Eternals. But I know it's not as poofy, but I don't have any other that hair piece that would, like, in that color, that would work. But yeah, I think it came out, come out pretty well. Yeah. Now it took, like, a Paz Vizsla. And he is really cool. I didn't make any customizations for him. I was, I was glad to see him. He was still alive. And it was a really, really cool fight, seeing him versus Din Djarin. And yeah, um, yeah. But he's the same minifigure that came in the Armorer's Forge that we got in September of last year. Yeah, really cool. I love this minifigure a lot. Um, he's not very well balanced though, so he does fall, so you kind of have to bend him down a little bit. Um, now we'll take a look at Din Djarin, and he looks awesome. I mean, he was insane in this episode. I loved him so much, and I was glad to see him. But for him, there's a little, I mean, it's the same figure that we've gotten in most of the more recent Mandalorian sets. And, um, yeah, um, but to make his cape kind of look like it's more on the side like it is in the show, you want to rotate the cape a little bit to where it's on his shoulder, um, um, shoulder more. Then you're gonna put the jetpack that came on a couple of Mandalorian figures as well, to like kind of like pull hold it down in that area. And yeah, it kind of goes on the shoulder and looks really nice. And then I gave him the dark saber from the light cruiser, but you don't have to have the light cruiser to get the dark saber. You can just have a lightsaber hilt and it's like black two piece. But yeah, it looks insane. And then I didn't give him a face, which I could have, but he didn't really have to take off his helmet in this episode. But yeah. I absolutely loved in in this episode. And I'm so glad to see my favorite Star Wars character return. And here is the armorer. And again, no customizations to her. Um, but yeah, she was pretty cool in the episode too. Um, too. And yeah, um, not much else to say. Um, glad to see her return as well. Yeah, same new figure. Um, other than that, pretty cool. And the last step here is finish Shan. And, um, Boba Fett did not get any screen time in this episode, but, yeah, still amazing. I love Mandalorian, the Mandalorian so much. Um, and, yeah, just the same Finnick Shan minifigure from the Light Cruiser that we got last year. And um, just a hairpiece, which is from Cersei from the Eternals. And, yeah, pretty cool. Again, yeah, love this episode. So glad to see my favorite Star Wars character, Din Djarin, return. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will be doing customs for the last two episodes um, in the next coming weeks. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video and have a great day. Bye.